To be selective or to not be selective? That is the question when coding catheters. Hi everyone, welcome to the Paul Chandler Show. I am your host, Paul Chandler. In tonight's episode, we're going to be working out a case study together regarding selective catheterization. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. So tonight we're going to be working through an example of a selective catheterization. So in this case, we're going to be doing a selective catheterization in the right, and how I do it on the board is R with the circle will be right, or L with the circle will be left. So we'll be doing it tonight on the right renal artery, and also performing a renal angiography, and also in this case for the study, the puncture site was done in the right femoral artery. So looking at the CPT book, Unless you just happen to know and have the catheterization sections memorized in the section that we need to go to, that what you want to do is look in the back of the CPT book, and if you look at catheter, then I'll say see catheterization. Or if you go to catheterization, then drop down to selective, and you'll get rerouted again to selective catheterization. So just start out at selective catheterization. So we go to selective catheterization, and then we drop down, we have the options of arterial, venous, or with angiography. So what we want to do though is we need to find out though as far as the catheters, is it first order, second order, third order, or beyond third order? Two ways to do this. Is that for one, if you look in the back and we have selective catheterization, well then we know we're doing it in an artery. So we have that being one keyword, and then renal being another keyword. Then with selective catheterization, we have arterial, we have first order, second order, or super selective. And if you scroll down under first order, then we see the word renal there. So that's one way I can tell that the renal artery is in the first order. But the other part would be you're looking at appendix L. L is in Larry in the back of the CPT book. And it takes us to page, in this case, page 856 in the 2020 professional version. And we have all these columns, red for arteries and blue for veins. And then you can also scroll up and down the different columns to see where we see the word renal, R-E-N-A-L. In that case, it'd be on page 857. And eh, about two thirds, eh, three fourths of the way down, we see renal, scroll up to the top, and it says first order there as well. So that's how we get a double verification, if you will, that the renal artery is in the first order branch. Okay, but looking at the back of the CPT book though, with selective catheterization, then drop down to arterial, then under first order, we see renal. Then we have two codes there. We have 36251 and 36252 to work with. So at least we're it down to two codes at this point. So looking up those two codes, 36251 and 36252, then that takes us to the difference of, on page 266, 36251 is unilateral, and 36252 is bilateral. And in this case, we're doing it just on the right renal artery, so we could automatically eliminate out code 36252, because we're not doing it on the left and the right, we're just doing it on the right. Now, we're looking at 36251, but notice that we're doing two things. We're doing the selective catheterization in the right renal artery, part one, but also doing a renal angiography also. So two different parts. So we need to now look through code 36251 and check to see if that is all that we're doing, or if we have to break out and use the renal angiography part in another code. Meaning is 36251 a combination code which is doing both parts, the selective catheterization and also the renal angiography included too. So then looking up uh, 36251 and well, what do you know? On the bottom of the, uh, towards the, edge of the end of the second line, it says for renal angiography. So a uh, few, um, I did Shakespeare at the beginning, but now I'll kind of go back in time, but not as far back and say, whoop, there it is. Hey, whoop, there it is. Bring it back. You know, never got old. Or it did, but bring it back. Why not? Whoop, there it is. 36251 includes both parts. 
It includes the select catheterization itself in the first order, in this case renal artery being the first order, and it also includes the second step that we're doing, the renal angiography. So it's the combination procedure codes. The only thing I would do at this point though is, because we're only doing it on the right, and true 36251 is unilateral, meaning only the left or the right side, I would go ahead and add on a modifier RT just to clarify that the renal artery we're doing is the right one, not the left one. Because in the CPT codes, the laterality, left or right, is not built into the codes. We'd either do modifier LT for left or RT for right, just to clarify which location in the body that we're doing it on. So that's how you code the selective catheterization in the right renal artery while also performing a renal angiography. Code as 36251 because it's unilateral, and then with modifier RT for the right side. I do thank you for watching this episode of The Paul Chandler Show, and have an awesome rest of your day.